This is question number five in level this medium. Theoretically speaking, the function that's involved in this question is easy level. I keep saying easy because all that is needed is to spot this chain rule taking place. And that's finished, the rest is very easy. This is medium level just because it is embedded into the word context and oftentimes when people are faced with word questions, they get scared. When the actual function that is involved with the word problem, usually most of them are very easy ones. It's the the theoretical questions that can that involve more complex functions, but word problems are generally fairly easy when it comes to just the theoretical equation part. Basically, whenever it comes to integrals, they will give a rate. In this case, the population growth rate. So this is what is going to go inside this integral. Another key thing to remember in word questions is to keep track of these units. Sometimes they say it's in, it's in years, and then they will ask like in months or in decades and stuff like that. And population is in thousands or a million sometimes. Uh, it can be tricky in that way, but as long as you keep track of the units, then you should be fine. Here we've got this population growth rate. The actual question. And the answer solution in full is uh, next to the video. So you can it's, uh, try to keep them less than one page. So there's a little strategy part, and there's the question part, sample question, like a representative question, and there's a solution part. So you can print it out. But I'll just read out the question for you. So it says, population in a small, beautiful town that is rising in popularity in tourism for its beautiful scenery, fresh air and delicious produce and food is growing at the rate shown the function. What will the town's population be after three years? I've just written down the list of the questions. So here population growth rate is here. Uh, what is the population after three years? The unit for our, the interval to do our definite integral will be from zero to three. And it matches with this t and it matches with this t here. We can put this into the integral. You can say it's going to be integral going from zero to three. Sorry, it's too much of an s. It's going to be an integral going from zero to three, we just put the population here, dt. That will be zero to three thousand e to the power of t over three, dt. For those of you who are familiar with this e raised to the power function, then you don't even have to use substitution. Let's just use substitution to see how that works. Here we can say let u be, we spot that, say t over three. That's the most complex thing that's going on in this case, we let u be that. And then du is going to be 1 over 3 and dt. t is right here and 1 over 3 there. We can just say dt is equal to, for rearranging, it's equal to 3 du. Once we are substituting with the variable u, and for dt, we're going to be substituting this, what we have to do is try to figure out also what's going to happen with our interval. So when it's size 0 and 3, that's a value and that's the b value, and we have to change according to that. So those are for t's, then u is going to be when t is equal to 0, that's the starting point, u is going to be 0 over 3, which is 0. When t is equal to 3, u is going to be 3 over 3, which is 1. These are our new intervals. It's going to go from 0 to 1. We have, using substitution, we've got 0 to 1. And we have 1,000. We've got e raised to the power of u. And we've also got 3 du, which is dt. So that simplifies to 3,000 eu. But eu, taking the derivative of that, we have du here, that's just eu. So we've got that with this new interval that matches with this variable u here. Then simply substituting, we've got 3,000 e to the power of 1 minus 3,000 e to the power of 0, which is equal to 3,000 e minus 1. Plugging in that into calculator gives us an approximate value of 5,155. And the unit for this is people because it's population. We say, so to answer our question, it is recommended that whenever you have word questions on the tests and exams, once you have evaluated the final answer, 
into the reasonable number, it will make more sense to put it into the calculated form as opposed to this that makes sense, makes more sense with the people. So it is recommended that you write one very simple concluding sentence and say the population use the words that come directly from the context. So the population, population after three years is 5,155. Just uh, keep track of the units. This is a very simple case, but all the word problems are pretty much very simple when it comes to computations. So here we use substitution, we change the variables, we plug those in. The moment we plug in the substituted variable and uh, we don't have to substitute back in the original t, we just keep it because our intervals have been adjusted, modified according to that. And these are how you modify the interval, the starting and the ending point, because we were basing this on the second part of the fundamental theorem of calculus and gives us very simple calculation. And there you have uh, our answer.